Hey guys, so today I just wanted to bring you a tutorial on a really quick and easy fall makeup look. It's one that you can just do when you have to run out of the door, but you still want to be kind of glam. So I'm already starting with my foundation done, but we're going to go ahead and jump into the bronzer. And today I'm going to take my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer with my Sonia Kashuk number 130 bronzing brush. And just apply that onto my cheeks and my forehead. And then using that same brush, I'm also going to run that down the sides of my nose to contour my nose a little bit. Yeah. Now for my cheeks, I'm going to take one of the hottest and most popular and hard to get products on the market right now. And this is the Copper Face Compact from the MAC Nutcracker Sweet Collection. And I'm just going to take that Pleasure Model Blush Shade and apply that onto my cheeks with my Morphe E4 Blush Brush. And as always, you guys know I like to put a little bit of blush on the tip of my nose. And then we're going to jump onto our brow. So I'm going to go for a more quick and easy brow look. So I'm going to take my NYX Brow Pencil in the shade Espresso and start filling in my brows. All of my other brow tutorials on my channel are very dated and awful, so I'm going to be filming an updated brow tutorial soon, but I did want to leave in a larger portion of me doing my brows, just so you guys could kind of, could kind of see my process here. Um, I am going to be using a brow pencil day just because it's a little bit faster than using a pomade, um, which I usually do. But as always, I just like to start at my tail and then work my way forward just so I have a more natural and gradient effect. And then just to kind of deepen my brows up a little bit more, I like to go in with the ColourPop Brow Pencil, and this is in the shade Black and Brown, just because it's a lot more dark and pigmented than the NYX Brow Pencils, and it just kind of darkens them up to match my hair better. So I'm just going to comb through my brows one more time to make sure that the color is all blended, and then we're going to move on to our eyeshadow. So I'm going to go with my Z palette and take that transition shade at the bottom, which is just an e.l.f. pressed face powder in the shade Light Beige. And I'm going to apply that into my crease with my Morphe M502 eyeshadow brush. Then going back into the palette, I'm going to take the shade Fawn from Anastasia Beverly Hills, which as you guys can tell is a favorite. And I'm using that same Morphe M502, just kind of patting the color on first and then blending it out. And I really am not being too precise today just because, like I said, it's quick and easy and you can really blow this out. And then going back into the palette, I'm going to take the shade Bangle from Anastasia Beverly Hills on that same brush and just blend that into my crease as well. What I really like about this look is you could go back home later on, add some black, kind of smoke out your lower lash line, and then you'd be ready for a night out. But it's really simple to begin with. Then taking a pencil brush from Bundle Monster Cosmetics that I cannot find anywhere, I'm just going to apply Bangle onto my lower lash line. And then I'm going to take the shade Naked from Urban Decay and apply that onto my lid with my finger. Basically, you just want to find a brown shade that is one or two shades darker than your skin tone, but more gray or cool toned, and just apply that onto your lid. Of course, if you wanted to use a shimmer, you could, or a whole different color, you could. Then taking a more satin finish eyeshadow, I'm going to take the shade Goldstone from the Kylie Bronze Palette and just apply that onto my lid with my finger. And then, as we all know, eyeliner can either be a disaster or the best thing ever. So we're going to create a quick faux liner using a Morphe M432 Flat Definer Brush and a dark brown eyeshadow and just work that into our lashes to kind of create a shadow like we have on eyeliner. Now we're going to move on to our lashes. So I'm going to take the Salon Perfect 614 lashes, but before I apply those, I'm going to curl my lashes. This is a limited edition um, lash curler from Tarte that I got in 2015. And then I'm going to apply a coat of mascara. I'm using the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara as always. Yeah. And then while I'm waiting for my lash glue to dry and get tacky because it's so much easier to apply that way, I'm going to take this Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade 355 on my Morphe M527 and add a little bit more color to my skin. And now we're just going to lay down the lashes. Letting the glue dry and get more tacky makes the application process so much easier just because it actually sticks where you want it to be instead of sliding around and getting really messy. So then you can just kind of take your tweezers and adjust them how you want them and kind of play around with it until you have the lashes just like you want them. And I absolutely love lashes. I don't do my makeup without them now just because they make such a big difference. So these Salon Perfect 614s are my absolute favorite. And now we're going to move back onto the face. So I'm going to take this shade light palette and use those two highlighting shades at the top to brighten up my under eye and my chin a little bit. 
and I'm using my e.l.f. small taper brush to do that. And then just to make sure that my blush is blended into that brightening powder, I'm going to take that same Pleasure Model blush and that same E4 brush from Morphe and just blend those together. And then I'm going to take my favorite brown liner, which is the shade Brouhaha from ColourPop, and just apply that into my waterline. And then I'm going to put a coat of mascara onto my lower lashes. And now to highlight, I'm going to take the Whisper of Guilt shade out of the Copper Face Compact and apply that with my Morphe M501 onto the high points of my cheeks, the tip of my nose, and the bridge of my nose. And as you guys can see, I already dug my finger in this to like try to get more color payoff because nothing was really coming off onto my brush. And I'm really not that impressed with this highlight. I mean, it's a nice pretty gold, but I feel like there are other golds out there that are even prettier. So if you're upset that you didn't get this or that it sold out, I wouldn't be because I think you could find something better. So now I'm going to wipe off my excess chapstick as always, and then I'm going to apply my lips. And I'm going to take the shade Barracuda from ColourPop, which is an ultra satin, and just apply that all over. This color is gorgeous, and this is the second time this week that I've worn it. But of course, if you wanted to pair it with a nude or something even darker and more vampy, you could. I just wanted to do something quick and easy to kind of go along with our quick fall makeup look. So for the final steps, I'm going to take my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel and set my brows so we won't have any crazy hairs throughout the day. And then I'm going to take my setting sprays. I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray first and take a nice long shower with that. And then for a nice all over glow, I'm going to take MAC Fix Plus and spritz my face with that as well. And that will complete this makeup look. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!